All right, everybody, it's JFam. Welcome back to another Elden Ring video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to infinitely respec an in Elden Ring on PC. This is not a glitch. This will not get you banned. But I just want to let you know this is for PC only. I do not know how to do this for PS5 or Xbox. Sorry. But you're going to have to follow along in this video at your own risk. If you mess something up because we're going to be accessing the game files, I can't help you. I'm not a computer expert. I'm not at home sitting and watching you try to follow my video and you mess something up along the way. I apologize, but this video you have to follow step by step and just do the best you can do and not mess something up. So you should be fine as long as you follow it to a T. So if you're ready, let's get into it. So right here at Lar Rhea Lucaria Grand Library, after you beat Renalia, the queen of the full moon witch, many of you know that you can go to her and you can chat for a minute and be rebirthed or respec. Now we can do this infinitely. So what you want to do is right before you're about to do that, as you can see me standing here, go to system and what you want to do is you want to quit game. So you're going to reboot, go through the menu. Now you want to quit. So you want to quit your to your desktop. And I do it this way every single time I do this. So go to quick game. Now, what you are going to do, let me switch to my OBS desktop here. Okay, as you can see, Elden Ring is still open on my Steam. So let's go here and we're gonna close this out. So just give it a second here. I know this video is gonna be a little longer, but I wanna show you the exact steps that I take to do this. So Steam, as you can see, it's still open in the bottom. I make sure I completely close it out. Now it's saying waiting for Elden Ring to shut down. All right, we have Steam shut down. Make sure double check Elden Ring's closed, Steam shut down. Now we want to go to search and type in percent app data percent. Enter. Now you'll see the Elgato, El, Elgato Elden Ring folder here. Click that. And then you'll see Elden Ring with a bunch. You'll see this a bunch of numbers here. Double click that. Now, what you want to do is this is your saved file from Steam. Now, copy this. So go to copy. Now, I have a folder called Elden Ring backups on my desktop. You can name it whatever you want. And as you can see, I have a couple builds I've already done. So we're actually going to re make a new build here. So go to new. Just make a folder here, and I'm going to call this because it's New Game Plus. New Game, pl New Game, where's my plus sign here, folks? Plus, and we're going to go Strength Build because this is my current class. So the folder's empty, and then I'll hit Paste here. Paste. So now those are the files there. So we pasted them. We're good to go. Now open back your Steam up. Let's launch Elden Ring back up here, guys, or ladies. So let's play Elden Ring. So basically what we did was you just copied our current files that were in the game that we were playing. And now what we're going to do is we're going to respec. I'm going to change to a completely different character. And then I'm going to save those files. And then I'm going to reboot and show you the old character still exists as proof. So let's load back in here, and we're going to respec. So continue. And we haven't messed with any of the files or anything. We just copied the current files and the current settings that we have. So what we did is at this current point, those files from right here and anything in the, in the past will be saved. Now let's rebirth. Art thou not? Art thou and I'm going to skip through this. So you can see the final results. All right, and here we are. As you can see, I have a completely different outfit on. 
I am a mage. Look at my stats. 50 Vigor, 40 Mind, 10 Endurance, 8 Strength, 12 Dex, 60 Intelligence, 50 Faith, and 9 Arcane. Everything has changed. So I'm done rebirthing. My everything is set. So now I will go to System. Once again, same process. Quit game. And I'm going to let you guys see this so you understand that I'm not lying, I'm not exaggerating. So unfortunately, this video is going to be a lot longer as far as tutorials go that I like to have. But I just want you guys to see the process to understand that this is not a gimmick and that it is real. So we are going to quit the game. Same process here. Let me uh, switch over to my desktop scene. So we ha we're in Steam right now. Stop. Uh, actually, I like to close Steam. I don't like to do it that way. Okay. It is closed. Same same thing here. Percent app data. Percent. <clears throat> Enter. Now we go to our Elden Ring. And now this file here is our last point of exiting Elden Ring according to Steam, which is when I was a mage. So we're going to copy this. Close this out. Elden Ring backups. Now we want to call this new folder. I'm going to call this new game plus because I'm in new game plus and we're going to call it mage slash oops mage incantation build because it's half and half. Uh, and then we'll open this folder up copy and paste. So that file is there. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you what you want to do if you want to have a different build, if you want to go back to a previous build. <clears throat> so as you've seen, we ended on the rebirth with the mage character. Now I'm going to show you we're going to go back to the new game plus strength guy with the huge hammer. Now you want to copy this. So copy. And this is coming out of your Elden Ring backup folder off of your desktop. So this here copy now percent app data percent enter elden ring the same numbers folder now what we're going to do differently <clears throat> is delete this yes now we're going to paste then all you have to do is close it out go to steam Boot your Steam up. And once again, I apologize, but I want to show the whole process here. I know it's kind of lengthy. I wish I could make it shorter, but I want you to understand everything that's happening. Then just hit play, Elden Ring. And when it loads up, it's going to show my strength build standing in front of Renalia, the full moon witch. So you will see. So we're going to load up. Hit continue and the main menu, and we will be there. It's pretty awesome. Once again, it's not a glitch. People have been doing this since Dark Souls, so it is legit. Unfortunately, like I mentioned, it's only for PC. So let me switch over one, one second to my other screen. All right. My, comp my recording software, sorry. All right, so continue. And now you're going to see our strength build. So let's load in. And here we are with my strength build as if I never respect. And I still have a, a larva tier available. So you can continue to do this all the time. But my only warning is, and I, I didn't realize this, as at, when you play with that other character... Let's just say my mage character. And if you find new things like Ashes of War or Talisman or anything like that, those things are not going to be available on this account here. They're only going to be available on that account. So just keep that in mind. So I use one main account. So I have two main accounts, one for New Game Plus and one main account for when I actually beat the game before New Game of Plus. And what I do is I unlock Talismans and all those things with that main account and then when I want to respec into a certain character then I do the same process that I discussed in this video. 
So if this video helped you out, please, obviously, all the things help, like, comment, all those things. Once again, follow it to a T. Be careful. It is kind of risky if you don't know what you're doing when you're messing with your game files. So if you do not feel comfortable, do not attempt to do what I showed in this video unless you feel comfortable. Other than that, have a great rest of your day. Later.